Uh, good morning students. I am assistant professor Shawqi Khlayr Ismail. I am from the uh, University of Diala College of Education for Humanities. Um, I am recording uh, this course in English Phonetics and Phonology for the students of the second grade uh, morning classes for the academic year 2019-2020 and uh, due to the current circumstances and the spread of um, coronavirus uh, so we have to stay at home uh, I hope that everybody will be uh, at a good health and you should not leave home because of the circumstances you know so um, you can just uh, pay attention to my lecture to my class and in this class we will be shedding the light on the most important points that uh, we need to know about this uh, course in English Phonetics and Phonology uh, you know I using the same book um, which is English Phonetics and Phonology a practical guide uh, by Peter Roche uh, this is the fourth edition which is the same textbook that you are using in actual lectures um, these um, lectures will be uh, uploaded and uh, you can be uh, you have their liberty to see them at any time uh, you want so I've been reviewing your comments on my uh, classroom or my Google classroom uh, to check our progress so I've seen that um, section B was in chapter 5 which is fricatives and affricates um, chapter 4 we are still in chapter 4 with section um, I think section A yes uh, which is Fortis and Lenis chapter 4 um, also I think uh, B uh, so they, they are not actually they, the students are actually confused between uh, fricatives and affricates which chapter they are anyway uh, we will be starting uh, with a short review from chapter 4 and uh, I think it will be uh, for the best for all the uh, students to start over with chapter 4 and then move to the other uh, chapters uh, so uh, actually having a lecture without you is a bit you know weird um, but what we can do we just have to use the things that are in hand here uh, you see the contents of the book here uh, it's actually chapter 6 with the fricatives and affricates it's chapter 6 here um, chapter 4 voicing and consonants so I will be focusing on voicing and consonants here to have a short review on it and then moving down to chapter 5 and uh, 6 so here we are on chapter 4 voicing and consonants um, so this chapter is actually concerned with how the um, voicing is produced and you see that it's connected with consonants uh, because as we have studied in vowels um, all the vowels in English are voiced so the only way to know the difference between um, voiced and voiceless is actually studying consonants so it starts with the larynx and how the larynx is composed uh, so we are going to focus on the most important components of of the vocal cords which is the uh, sorry the we are going to focus on the most important component of the uh, larynx which is the uh, vocal uh, folds or the vocal cords here so you see that it's made of first uh, 
cartilages they are small bones uh, these small bones they actually um, con uh, control the vibration also of the vocal cords or the vocal folds you see that uh, the most important component of the larynx as I told you is uh, a cartridge and uh, we have the vocal uh, folds or the vocal cords so they are actually some elastic tissues and uh, they when they vibrate they create the uh, voicing here we have these are the cartridges and you see that these are the vocal folds and when they are actually put in certain position so they start to vibrate and uh, create a voicing so uh, as you see the we have here four positions in which they can be made or they can be put uh, the first position of the vocal folds are is wide apart so they are actually moving away from each other and in, uh, this position is just used for um, breathing and producing a voiceless uh, consonant so it's just used in normal breathing and in the uh, production of voiceless consonants um, the second position is the narrow glottis the narrow glottis the uh, air is passed through the glottis when it's narrowed so they are actually uh, narrowing or closing on each other the vocal folds and the result here is a fricative sound for which symbol is H so the sound is made uh, in the glottis when there is a narrow glottis um, the sound is not very different from a uh, whispered vowel uh, so it's called what a voiceless glottal fricative which is the H sound uh, the third position for the vocal fold is the most important position here that we want to focus on which is the vibration or the position for vocal fold vibration when these edges of the vocal folds are touching each other so the edges are touching each other you see that here in this position we have the you know in this figure we have the first position this is the wide apart position this is the narrow glottis position which you see that they are actually closing the vocal folds are closing and these two cartridges are the only way to let the air go um, this one is when the cartridges are closing on each other and the only air escapes th through vibrating these vocal folds so this will help or this will see that when the air is pressed against these vocal folds uh, it will be forced to go through them that's why they will uh, vibrate so uh, you see this is how the air is uh, released and how it causes vibration uh, the fourth position when they are tightly closed so there, there is a total closing when the vocal folds are tightly closed there is a total or a full um, closing here uh, this will not allow the air to escape at all which is here on figure 13 D uh, 
uh, the air is not allowed to go anywhere that's why uh, the vocal folds can be firmly pressed together so that air cannot pass between them uh, this happens we uh, in the speech we uh, also when the air is released after this it will create a glottal stop or a glottal plosive so which uh, the use of this symbol which represents the uh sound when you see that you are pressing the air in your glottis and the air is not allowed to escape when you release the air you will produce this sound uh, sound which is called a glottal stop or a glottal plosive so uh, we will continue for uh, in the next lecture actually this lecture was um, more like a test to I mean this is my first time recording um, you see you see that the situation is very uh, weird very strange because um, I'm used to see the students and see their responses in front of me but now I don't have such a privilege so this is just a test uh, and I will be uploading more uh, lectures I hope that we will be seeing each other um, next time so we don't have to do these things like recording on the but you know this is a desperate situation and we hope that uh, all of us will be safe all of you will be safe you your families and thank you very much